Hi, so we just got up and the post office just called and said that they have something at the post office for us. Um, I've never had to deal with this with just hatching eggs, so we're gonna get ready and head to the post office and see what's going on. Normally they just bring the um, fertilized eggs to my house, so anyways, we'll see. All right guys, get ready so we can go. Quail hatching eggs. Go stick them in the incubator and finish what we were doing at home because <laughs> it just kind of got a phone call out of the blue. Like I said, they normally just drop them off at the house, but I don't mind this. I know that they'll get to my house faster if I can just come pick them up. And our post office is only like five minutes down the road, so all right. No. All right, we're gonna open up the eggs. <laughs> All right, let's check these bad boys out. All right, Are we here close? we go. Yay, eggs. I'm just showing. Why are you barking? Stop barking. That's enough. Is there something out of play? He wants to come play. He's so silly. Hello, quail. Hello, quail babies. And my one lonely guinea that's in there. Oh, it's been a long, hot day. And I'm going to come out here and get some. I'm coming out here to get some tomatoes and basil to make a caprese salad. And I'm also going to go ahead and feed all the animals while I'm out here. All the kids are playing next door on the trampoline. Having a good time. <sighs> We've just been busy with inside stuff a lot today. Schoolwork, things like that. But let's go get these uh, tomatoes and basil. Hi, girlfriend. What you doing? Lorelai. Hi. Come here, baby. You wanna go see the bunnies? Let's go see the bun buns. Make sure everybody's doing okay in here. How's everyone doing? Hey. Hello. Little babies, little babies. Kinda all over the place. See, if I had never put these silly hanging cages up, I wouldn't have all this, these urine stains on the tarp. And I think I'm just gonna have to replace the tarp. I mean, it's really not hurting anything, but I don't like the way it looks. Oh, Lorelai, you wanna give the doggy some chaff, hey? Is that what you're doing, or are you just wasting it, making a mess? The puppies love getting some. Here you go. You wanna give some to the puppy? Give some to the puppy. <laughs> Come on, Lorelai, let's go this way. Okay, we're in the kitchen garden and we're gonna pick a few tomatoes for our caprese salad. And Miss Lorelai is here to help me. Come on, baby girl. Let's get some tomatoes. There's lots of ripe tomatoes in here now. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Here you go. <laughs> Did you just say mine? <laughs> yeah, that can be yours. Oh, I can't remember what variety this was, but wow. These things look great. This would be perfect for the salad. And then come over here and get some basil. It's looking a little sad, but as long as I can get enough to throw in the salad. That's all we need. 
think it just got too hot. I'm not sure. I think I got enough. Come here, bring your, bring your tomato. It's okay, baby girl. Come on, I think we have enough tomatoes. How'd you get in here? You were not invited. You were not invited. All right, let's bring our stuff inside, sweet girl. You ready to bring it inside? You ready to go inside? Hi. You've squished that tomato, haven't you? Got everything for our caprese salad. I am making spaghetti and meatballs for dinner, so I thought the caprese salad would go really well with everything. The girls actually asked for the salad. Not for the spaghetti and meatballs, but though they will definitely appreciate that. It is definitely a favorite around here. So I'm just finishing that up real quick. The pasta in the water. No. Let's turn that up. No. It's hard to try to cook dinner and take care of all the animals at the same time because it kind of always happens right at the same time every evening. <laughs> you know, if I was uh, a better mom and housekeeper, I would um, have dinner ready before I have to do evening chores. But, no. you know, who are those people? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter how it gets done, right? It just matters that it gets yeah. done. And it always gets done. All right, we got our mozzarella, balsamic, and our tomatoes and basil. So let's just get this all chopped up and put in a bowl. Yeah. Here I'm just chopping up the tomatoes for the salad. I like to dice them into like big-ish chunks. I don't want them too small. It's not like salsa. I think salad, not salsa. These tomatoes smell amazing. Compared to store bought, it's just such a big difference. Store bought tomatoes are so watery. These have such flavor. And then I just take this, the mozzarella balls that are in the salted water. Okay, I can't open it. So I'm just going to drain this at the sink. Just dump that in. Reuse that container. Because that's how we roll around here in Pop Town. Yeah, now I'm just going to cut up the basil. Shred it a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like I could live off of this salad. I really do. I think I could. All right, got everything chopped up. Looking very festive and beautiful. Nice, vibrant colors. Now it's time for the balsamic. Mmm, I've got this stuff right here. I have had for a while now, and it's so yummy, and I am not shy with it because I love vinegar. So, whole lot of this, and then a little bit of olive oil, so a splash of that, and then I'm going to toss it around, and I'm going to use my knife because I don't feel like dirtying up another spoon right this second. That's it. Um, my husband likes to put pepper on his, but the kids eat it and they don't like black pepper, so I'm not going to add it to the actual salad. I'm just gonna put it in the refrigerator until it's time to eat. That's it. Super fresh, super summery, easy. Healthy? Mm, I don't know. It's a lot of cheese, but mm, it's delicious. So we got the quail eggs and they are already in the incubator. 
I was gonna film putting them into the incubator, but the camera went dead, so I'll just show you guys the eggs now. Alright, two dozen blue quail eggs from Alchemist Farms. They are pretty awesome, what they have going on. They don't just do quail, they have all types of rare breed chickens. And I think they really try to breed for like egg color. So it's really fun like just surfing their website and seeing what they have going on.